I'm here to shave off my head again today. And I feel like I have a good hair day, so <laughs> it almost feels like it would be a waste. But it's been almost three years since I last shaved my hair. It was like the first time I actually did that back then. And I had a lot of fun, surprisingly, growing out my hair and trying out different hairstyles. But lately I've just been craving the simplicity and the convenience of really, really short hair. And so I made the decision, I kind of formed over the past few months. And then last week I thought like, we're just gonna do it this week. And right now I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> but uh, I'd say let's do this. I'm gonna take off my sweater because I do not need to get hair. Oh, my wool sweater. I can honestly take off my hair tie because I'm not gonna need that anymore. I have my mirror here. <sighs> oh. Where do we start? So why do I feel nervous when I've had short hair before and I know that it's just hair and it grows back? Well, I guess it's because in our society, especially women's hair is not just hair. And I think as long as there are beauty standards and as long as women have to explain themselves way more often about their haircuts than men, I think it's also a bit political to have short hair as a woman. And while for me individually, I think I just want it because it's so convenient and maybe also partly for more self-acceptance, like seeing that my worth and me as a person, it doesn't change no matter what kind of hairstyle I have. But I do also want to set an example against these beauty standards. I want to be one more person having short hair and hopefully um, leading to a future where we do not have to always explain why exactly we make the choices we make about our appearance. Another thing is that I do feel a bit uneasy about the whole shaving my head and then growing it back and just changing my hairstyle all the time. I think that comes from not wanting to seem indecisive. I think it went so far that I thought authenticity meant like staying the same but I realized over the past few years that everything is always changing and as people I think we gain much more from adapting and living in the moment than sticking to old principles that no longer apply. So I can just encourage you to shave your head if you wanted to try it and then you can grow it back again or you can keep it short or you can wear a wig. No matter what you want to do, that's all fine. Because in the end, I still want it to be just hair and not be important for if we're beautiful. And in general, like not put so much value on looks and instead focus on how we feel and what we do in this world. Okay, everything is full of hair, me included. <laughs> I'm going to take a shower to get rid of all of this hair and come back to you. I'm back from my shower. My hair is dry. It feels amazing. And this is how it looks right now. My scar is back. Um, the short hair is back but it will grow in no time. And this time I don't think I'm going to maintain like the really, really short hair over a long period of time but we'll see there are no like definite plans and now i just want to thank you to, for watching this video i am going to link you um another video about short hair here so i hope you're checking it out let me know if you have any questions uh if you want me to talk about you know shaving my head again and 
tips and tricks and things you need to know before you shave your head maybe and just thank you for sticking around and also a special thank you to all of my patrons see you there or in my next video goodbye